Welcome back. So today, continuing on with the theme of sets with too much bass, we will continue with the XSL X1. So I don't have the box. This one is a loaner from uh, a very generous man as well. So I don't have anything other than the IM itself. And it looks like this. So nice metal shells, kind of shiny, little X logo there. A nice kind of flush two pin and a nice little metal nozzle uh, mesh right there. So cool little set, uh, probably resembles another set or two, but nice metal shells. Try not to scratch them, but we will jump right into it and we'll go through this one kind of quickly because it, it's essentially a huge base set. If that's not your thing, uh, you can stop now, but it's a very fun set, very affordable set. Um, with a lot of bass and we'll so we'll start right there and say the last set that I just talked about was Singularity Singularity had a ton of bass and it looked kind of like this So why am I going to talk about both of them because they essentially have a very similar looking bass curve Singularity and I talked about this a lot. It, it looks really huge and you think it's really huge in the ear It's not it's a very tight very technical um Tight is probably the best word for it. There's really no bloat to it at all. It's just a very technical, detailed, sharp uh, bass shelf, bass response. XSL X1 is exactly what you think it sounds like in a sub $100 uh, IM with a bass shelf that looks like that. It's a huge, booming, um, very fun sounding bass. But yeah, every ounce of boom that you think is there is there in the X1, and that is why I like it. If you're looking for anything other than a big booming set, you're probably in the wrong place. Maybe Singularity is your thing, but X1, uh, very much the sounds just like it, it grabs, as I just said, a big, fun, too much bass set. The opening to Metallica's Under Sandman should have one of these holy shoot moments and it does on this one it's a very big you know skull shaking uh, bass level singularity technical accurate no bloat perhaps too good for its own good kind of lost a little bit of fun for me upper mids again I, it's one of those things that i talked about on uh, singularity just because this sounds leaner is, is sort of the wrong word because it doesn't have a whole lot of boom to it you, you notice the upper mids a little more on singularity on X1, it's pretty much how you think it sounds. It's a huge bass, and then this is brought down slightly, so there's no real fatigue in the in the treble, so the whole thing is tilted in a very nice bass head style. So you can really turn it up. And uh, so Singularity has a little bit uh, too much, and there's kind of a fun factor to turning up the X1 and getting more bass, no fatigue, and I think they actually did that tilt pretty well on X1. So X1 versus... Which, um, so why people are interested in the X1, it does have the Dark Magician driver, but really polar opposites in tuning. So here is Dark Magician. It has this very neutral-ish bass curve, kind of a famous bass shelf, and a kind of reduced upper mid version as well. So lots of clarity, beautiful mids. Nothing here to stick out in the upper mids, just beautiful upper mids, and then extends all the way through upper treble. A very, very refined sound. And then X1 is your kind of V, big V version. And same driver, two totally different sets from two different planets. When you V out, you know, you, set, you essentially lose a lot of what made um, Dark Magician special, but it turns into something else special. It turns into a huge booming fun set so i can't argue with what they did there so x1 a little too much bass not enough treble uh, driver trying to deliver good mids but uh, really second place to the bass like it's still a very very nice driver and it actually does mids quite well but it's just a lot of bass and really not enough treble for it to really sound natural but on the other hand it sounds super fun Dark Magician, it really had tight textured bass, great dynamic driver, extended treble, transparent, high res mids. You know, it did everything pretty much right, and that was why that set was special. So sound, um, as we just looked at, huge V-shape, bass heavy, treble light for the bass heads, no fatigue at all. You know, it really has the bass head tilt uh, down pretty well. Bass, you know, just not many sets at, you know, $50.00 that have a good driver and can hit the bass level that this one does. It's just a huge bass for all of your bass tracks. I wouldn't even call it a 
Dark Magician with boosted base. It just lost a lot of what made Dark Magician special. It lost a lot of detail, a lot of texture with a huge base. So if you're buying it because you think it's a Dark Magician with just a little bit more base, it's really not that. It's a totally different thing. And it, you're really buying it for the base level and having it rattle your skull as opposed to a really refined heavy base set. It's not quite that. It's just a heavy base set. So mids, kind of where that good driver was dealt a really hard hand. And um, it still does a pretty good job, a very admirable job at uh, giving you mids that sound somewhat clear. Um, yeah, it's just between the bass level and the treble level, bass is a little bit too much, treble is just a little bit low. The mids were going to come out a little wonky, and, they, and I think they do. It varies track to track how much the bass dominates and how far back the mids fall. But what works here for me... If you stick to bassy fun tracks, um, you can bring the mids up with a little bit more volume. The mids come a little bit forward over the bass. You don't get as much uh, increased treble contribution the way it all works out. So bass comes up, the mids fall a little bit more forward. The treble is still a little bit low, so it doesn't really fatigue you. And you just end up with more bass and, and slightly better mids. And I think all that actually worked out pretty well. But do focus on a fun big bass sound. It, those are the tracks that are going to work here. If you are a type who is going to pick apart treble timbre, move along. You probably picked the wrong set. I think the whole lower half, uh, it's just tons of fun. But if you start listening to much of the upper half, female vocals, strings, you know anything in the upper half, you start to notice the treble's a bit low for clarity and dynamics. It's just kind of a, a little bit low. But for bass stuff, it actually works out quite well. And then you get the kind of the flip side of that. So genres like rock that really need a tighter, higher quality bass, things that Singularity were really great at, things that Dark Magician were really great at, it kind of falls. Those are just really tough on here because there's so much bass and it's just huge and it's not it's not detail. It's just boom. And rock with a lot of boom doesn't doesn't necessarily work out all that well. Treble, so reviewer would say yeah, not enough. It's just kind of just a bit low. And a lot of it comes down to this little bit here. So where that presence little thing is, you know, this needs to be up a little bit and you get a little more presence and it wouldn't sound like female vocals were in the next room, but they kind of do. Um, bass head would say is pretty much right on. Tons of bass, just enough treble to be clear and no fatigue. So I think, you know, it's pretty much a bass head set for, in that respect. Stage, not quite enough treble to and too much bass to really sound spacious, but the driver does okay. And again, where that lower treble level doesn't expand the sound stage, it also doesn't flatten it. So it actually sounds pretty good in the space that it uses. You know, I think that's sort of where Singularity kind of got it wrong. I think that little bit right there actually did flatten the stage and it didn't work out as well, especially at higher volumes. Whereas X1. You can turn it up, you know, pretty much as high as you can. Your ears will withstand, or your skull will stand, and it'll pretty much do what it what it does at at pretty much the same volume or higher. So that is what I got on X One. So thank you guys again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.